Well, the presidential race is over, but there are still loads of results coming in. Colorado, for example, has legalized marijuana, while several other states legalized gay marriage. And that would have been great news for me and my stoner boyfriend if he hadn't swapped our engagement rings for a packet of burger rings. Even though Julian was the one to suggest the no-salt detox in the first place. Obviously, it was a disappointing night for Mitt Romney, who'd poured all of his central processing unit into this campaign. And during his concession speech, the world's richest unemployed man says he plans to spend more time with his handsome family and say what you will about the man's emotion display unit, his semen is top notch. Turning now to the hotly contested race for whitest man, while it had been neck and redneck between Governor Romney and DJ Qualls, a late challenge was launched by Miami reporter Blake Berman. A little bit of what you see here. That's Wyclef Jean. No, it's not. What, what? Wale, excuse me, Wale. No, it's not. Uh, well, I am. Good grief. Thank you. It's not that hard. This is the US presidential election, which was won by the president from 24. Sorry, no, it's the president from Deep Impact. Oh, good grief. It's the president from Commander in Chief. Are we sure about that? Oh, yeah, that's him. And President Obama Davis also won the race for world's most popular tweet, with more than half a million retweets of this photo, thereby overtaking the previous record holder, this guy. Although I don't think we've heard the last of Jonathan Taylor Thomas. And finally, Mark Humphreys joins us from Mitt's sadness room. Mark, how's everyone going over there? Tom, with the election over, everyone's losing their job. The poll takers, the cupcake bakers, the ball breakers, and the opinion makers. The position changers, the hair arrangers, the paid to haters, and the teach you how to debaters. The jawline definers, the suit dryers, and most of all, the semen energizers. So... Unemployment is on the rise, Tom. You hear that, Gina Davis? You've been back in office one day and you've already wrecked the economy. Is it too late to get that fertile robot man back from his handsome family?